What's going on guys, Lobapixel here, back at it again with another video. An OBS tutorial on a circle webcam with a green screen and putting your own background in the back of like the circle of your green screen. This video was inspired by a really, really big streamer, Granny on Twitch. She's basically, it's exactly what you think. She's a grandma that streams on Twitch and she has like this like cool grandma background of her circle of her green screen. And I was trying to figure out how to do it and I couldn't find any tutorials on YouTube. Make this tutorial for anybody out there that wants to utilize their green screen in a different way and to be able to put in more variety onto their overlay and their backdrop or the background of their green screen. You can literally put whatever you want. For those of you who don't know who I am, my name is Lobo Pixel. I am a streamer, experienced photographer, content creator. I've been diving deep into the gaming content and streaming world, and I've been really enjoying myself putting out content like this. So if you guys are liking what you're seeing, consider subscribing and giving the video a thumbs up. It really does help the channel. Also, guys, don't forget to check me out on Twitch. I do stream there pretty occasionally, very consistent. Wednesday, Thursday, Fridays, 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Come by the chat and we'll talk about stuff. You know, it's really cool to have everybody there. The Twitch journey has been amazing so far. So really, really would love to have you guys in chat so we can talk about things. And don't forget to check out the Discord too. Pixel Fan Community, really awesome, really cool people in there. Everyone's lovely and friendly in there. So don't forget to check that out as well. So we're gonna be switching to different screens so I could show you guys how I did this. And I'm gonna be showing you guys my phone process on how I do the backgrounds and I'm gonna try my best to make this as simple and as easy as possible for you guys I just want to show you guys the end result of what we're trying to achieve here a circle webcam which is whatever webcam you're using and any type of background that you want in within the circle so obviously what's behind me is a green screen and I'm gonna show you guys the process from beginning to end on how you can achieve this look right here so let's get into OBS so I can show you guys step by step how this is gonna play out you're gonna need to have an image that's like this I'm just gonna put it in the link in the description below so you guys can download it for free basically what this is is the white is the circle where you're gonna be in you're gonna be inside this white circle and the black is the transparency when I'm talking about transparency there's nothing there so when you put this inside your webcam you're gonna you're gonna be within it and everything around it is gonna be gone so whatever you're seeing right now which is like all my background and all this it's all gonna be cut out it's going to be completely gone. Let me just show you guys exactly how I do that. It's already going to be saved as a PNG. So I'm going to go to filters and then right here, you're going to add image mask slash blend. You're going to go in there. You got to look for your image, which I have it on my desktop. It's called test. I have it under test. You're going to pick that right and it's going to pop up here. And then once you're done immediately, it's going to cut everything off you're already good to go just make sure that when you put the type it's on under alpha mask color channel this is actually a pretty cool webcam already like i think it's pretty cool to have this little backdrop here but whatever the whole purpose of this is to see what backgrounds can we use behind our green screen which we don't have a green screen right now but i'm gonna pull it up and we're gonna see what's gonna happen here i'm gonna show you guys my process on how i do this and i'm providing you the links in the description below so it could be a little bit easier for you guys i'm gonna show you guys the app that i use it's a free app anybody could use it especially if you're not good with like graphic design or anything i'm not so I actually use this app to help me with like thumbnails and stuff sometimes, but it actually helps me with this tutorial as well. The app is called over, right? You're going to go in, you're going to want to start a new project, put a transparent image. You're going to put 1920 by 1080. I'm going to use this, right? I'm going to make it a little bigger so it could fit into the 1080, right? This is basically your webcam design of what you want, right? So now you're going to add another image. What image do I want? I already have it downloaded. I'm going to use this, right? The cool thing about this is that you can actually crop this image to a perfect circle, which is great. So you could go to crop here, go all the way to circle. And then what you can do is you could see the transparency behind. You can measure it to like the perfect circle almost. I mean, there's never a perfect circle, but you can definitely utilize this 
and it can definitely work so we go back to size and then we could just like little by little like try to squeeze it in there you know perfect so we don't see any white spots before even getting excited and saving anything you don't want to save this exactly yet what you want to do is go back here and you want to erase this it's just so i can measure it perfectly for what i want as my backdrop that's the reason why i do that but you don't really need this what you really need is just the perfect circle with the transparency sides so what you're going to want to do is save it you can save it right here go to export setting you're going to save it as a png and now you got a perfect circle seesaw ice cream papu fruit background right when you finally get your image onto your desktop and you're ready to go you got the full file size it should be like transparent like a perfect circle we're going to go to obs i'm going to show you guys right now how to do this you already have all your settings ready for this now what we have to do next we need to freaking put up our green screen next okay I'm going to do right now it's probably going to be a back background i think or just see through right now it's a see-through background for me right we're going to put the image that we want so we're going to go to image it's on the desktop right here boom easy peasy lemon squeezy size it exactly like our webcam over here hold on i want to put this like over here so you guys can see what i'm talking about so it's in front of me so you can't see me right so what you want to do is go like this boom we got it in the background look how beautiful that looks right so now we can finally like you know maybe measure it a bit it'll be a lot easier if we measure it ourselves you know if you hold shift you can like move this in particular let's say you have the circle perfect right like it's amazing i love it what you're gonna want to do is go like this you're gonna want to go to the bottom shift and then down onto your picture and then you're gonna want to group these things for sure so once you group them let's just do group test so now you got your image and you can move it all over the place which looks freaking fantastic look at that i mean it's not the most perfect circle honestly i feel like i could have done a better job but this is a tutorial it's just to show you what you can do and what you want to do with your circle and you know there's a lot of there's a lot of cool things you could do with this man it's really cool it's literally the background look it stays as the background it's amazing this is pretty much it at first for me to figure it out is very 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 complicated but i actually figured it out on my own and i thought i would show you guys this video and hopefully it brings somebody value and i hope you guys i would love to see what kind of backgrounds you come up with if you want send me some pictures on discord like show me what backgrounds you've done i would love to see them maybe give me more ideas i don't know and just to show you guys an example if you actually try to work hard but if you actually take the real time into it you can definitely um achieve this perfect look it can it's definitely achievable it's really easy to do it's not such a hard tutorial anybody could do this if they have a green screen and if you have the pngs for it and that's the end of this video i hope you guys learned something new i hope that this video brought you a tremendous amount of value i'm putting this video out there to help you guys out and to see what unique things you guys can do what can you put as your background what, what would you want to put inside your background i wanted to put out this video because i feel like as a streamer i wanted to stand out a little bit more within you know twitch categories just so you could stand out better if you guys have any questions or any concerns just comment down below let me know we can start a combo about it or if you want to go in my discord you can just to like message me or dm me don't forget to check out my twitch channel if you want to talk about more things like this if you want to see more videos like this in the future let me know in the comments below remember i do stream on twitch every wednesday thursday friday 8 30 eastern time don't forget to check me out there thank you so much for watching this video and i catch you guys on the next one peace